That's one of the examples. It appears very often in the in the yellow book when I mean like a, where the examples of this type where zero doesn't satisfy the the zero vector doesn't belong to the set. Question nineteen. Uh, question 19, uh, the, uh, somehow they use letter, uh, letter T there for the subset. I don't know why they use T, which is probably just to show you that you're actually free to choose any letters you wish. Uh, it's the collection of three-dimensional vectors. Again, look at this. It's a three-dimensional vector such that the components of those vectors are subject to the following condition, x1 plus x2 plus x3. Uh, greater or equal than negative 1, but less or equal than 1. Well, with this example, this one is not, going, is not going to help you because zero vector is in fact member of this set T. If you test, if you test zero vector, if you test zero vector, that will be a correct inequality. That's why zero is T, is in T. So we need to look in the, into the other two criteria, and this set, in fact, fails. Actually, it will fails both of the other two criteria, both being closed on the addition and being closed on the scaling. But normally, scaling is easier to verify and easier to disprove. So I will look into scaling. So I suggest if I take the vector like this, 1, 0, 0, that is the vector which is clearly a subject to this condition. So that's the vector in my t, but if I double that vector, if I scale it with the scalar 2, that will be the vector 2, 0, 0, and that is the vector not in t. And that's why, because t fails the third criterion of the subspace theorem, being closed under scaling, it's not a subspace. You may try to find the counterexample, and remember, when you disprove something, you have to present a counterexample. You may try, you may try to find a counterexample, uh, which shows that T is also is not subject to uh, being closed on the addition as well. It, it would be uh, if you, I mean, such a, such a counterexample, it it won't be too hard to find. Um, scaling is easy, uh, the one which fails scaling. It's easier to find, but for the addition, it's not that far from this example. Again, if you want to fix. If you want to fix uh, the first reasonable fix, I mean, which converts this T into a subspace, T dash, it's the collection of vectors where x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals 0, again. And that's, again, example of the orthogonal subspace, SR111 vector.